Rusty Wallace once went 214 miles an hour at the average speed of his lap at this super speedway. Of course, we are talking about NASCAR's longest track, the Talladega Super Speedway, 2.66 miles, and drivers are gonna use everything they can to their advantage to win the Geico 500 this weekend. Of course, qualifying tonight could be a little sloppy, just like up at the Oaks where Dylan is. All right, so let's bring out our very own stock car and examine the science behind drag and drafting here. This is a technique commonly used at Talladega. When you have a super speedway, you got to let the guy in front of you help you a little bit. Air and pressure are things we need to talk about a lot on the Weather Channel, and both are important to racing. This car is slamming into billions of air molecules, and the result is high pressure building on the front side of the car. As the airflow gets broken into smaller eddies and swirls, on the back side, the pressure actually lowers. And this pressure difference and resistance force due to the friction between air molecules and the car is called drag, which acts to slow the car down. Now, to reduce this effect, cars are designed with airflow in mind and try to reduce the restrictions of airflow whenever possible. This is one reason why you don't see side mirrors on stock cars, right? I mean, think about what happens when you put your hands outside the window when you're driving down the interstate 70 miles an hour. You feel that drag on your hands, right? This is, this is about getting the most speed you can out of about 800 horsepower, all right? Another way to reduce the drag is drafting or getting extremely close to the car in front of you. The lead car actually blocks the air, and when the other car gets within inches of the lower pressure, wake of the lead car, aerodynamic resistance is reduced on the front of the trailing car. Airflow behaves like it is moving over one car, decreasing the total amount of drag on both cars. The end result, each car can end up traveling three to five miles faster than if they were each on their own. So that's what teammates are for, right? Here's the deal, though. On the last lap, forget the drafting, forget everything. It's winner take all.